Queensland has over 20 different hockey associations and on a trip to Mount Isa I stopped into the ones that I was passing to find out more about their histories. My first port of call was Gympie, just two hours north of Brisbane, and I asked where and when things started in Gympie. Well, sometime before 1935, would have been at Albert Park, when my uh, three sisters and two brothers travelled in on a cream truck to uh, play hockey. They got charged sixpence each to come into the fields to play, and I was too young to play hockey then. We lived out in the country. Yes, hockey was quite big in 35, and there would have been probably about five ladies' teams, and I think about four or five men's teams. It was quite a big thing on Sunday morning, Sunday afternoon, they had to be off Albert Park so the football could take over. There were some very high profile umpires on that. I remember Mossy and and Jim Ashton, who was my father-in-law, he was a Queensland badged umpire and he also coached the Carlisle Creek hockey team that came in. Uh, at Albert Park there was uh, just the grandstand and then there was uh, rooms underneath and a little kiosk for selling drinks and things. Not a great lot there. And then the war years came and that was the end. Well, they couldn't get transport in, you couldn't. Everybody was sort of called up for the war. And then it started up later as junior hockey and the other then senior teams formed and I coached the one mile uh, under 10 girls down there and uh, then we moved out here to Ramsey Park after the fields had been opened up out here. Well my greatest memory was uh, working out here with the ladies and we served the lunches for everybody over in the trees across the road and watching the big machinery and uh, uh, Mannix Creedy's wife got on one of the big um, bulldozers and rode around the, the grounds on it. It was a lovely day. In 1967, the um, city's fathers, and it was then the Widger Shire Council, decided that a new venue for um, Gympie hockey could be de developed. So they moved over here to what is now Ramsey Park and in a joint project between Gim uh, Gimby Hockey and the Widger Shire Council as part of Gimby Centenary celebrations. They organised Queensland's first ever Earth Moving Field Day, never held uh, in Queensland before, and a lot of major earth moving firms were invited up and in three days they transformed formed a hilly, rocky hillside area into six hockey fields uh, in over three days. Didn't cost the Widger Shire Council or Gimby Hockey a cent. Um, it's now produced one of the best viewing hockey um, centres in Australia where there's a, a viewing area above every field. Once the construction was finished of the fields, all the fields were grass originally and then probably 15 years later the clubhouse was built. It was opened by the president of Australian hockey Frank Yend um, and described it as one of the best facilities on the east coast of Australia and uh, obviously made everyone here very proud of their achievements. And then in 1986, um, Queensland's first ever artificial service was constructed here in Gympie and that was a momentous occasion in um, Gympie hockey's progress and history and also in um, Queensland hockey's history. Uh, cost $250,000. The artificial surface was a joint project between the Widger Shire Council and Gympie Hockey again and it consisted of a lot of uh, fundraising from the association and also um, grants from the council and also a loan uh, guaranteed by the council. At the moment our facilities are really top class. In 2011 uh, we decided that our first artificial service which was then 25 years old was past its due by date. and. A uh, new hybrid service was installed here in 2011. When we were putting the new service in, we thought it would be a good idea to upgrade the whole uh, main uh, field stadium. So we put in new stadium walls, fencing, dugouts, cement aprons around the exterior. We've upgraded the lighting, but not the actual infrastructure of the lights. And uh, the cement light poles um, were accessed from Brisbane and a new electronic scoreboard and a lot of the development was due to um, 
fundraising and, and the enormous support of sponsors. Uh, the committee and the um, people who are keen to see um, Gimme Hockey progressing um, are always working to um, identify businesses and individuals who like to support the, the game of honky, hockey in Gympie and we've managed to, to engage quite a substantial number of major and minor sponsors and supporters over the years. It's, at the moment it has a very positive vibe. Um, it's a family oriented sport. As Frank Yen said when he opened the clubhouse that one of the successes of Gimpy's hockey is due to its recognition of the game as a sport for the entire family. And uh, I think with our facilities that we have at the moment and maintaining that focus of hockey as a family sport, making it both family friendly financially and also socially, then I think Gimpy's going to have a, a nice positive bright future. We had several clubs, senior clubs to start with, and they all took the responsibility of our junior clubs, which was our schools. And they just it took on, if you belong to say suburbs club, you had central school. And this is how they worked it in the 50s, 60s and 70s up until the 90s. Um, and we had, in the end, we had four very strong clubs. Uh, some fell off, by the way, we had women's clubs, men's clubs, and they all fell off, you know, and everyone joined in to, to one, make it one, say, association with four clubs. But it, it, in the interest of hockey, I've, I felt, and so did everyone else, that we disbanded clubs and just let the association run it in nomination in teams. And I think that is better for the hockey. I think it makes our teams, the teams more even. It gets the poor, the young players that aren't playing good hockey, it brings them back. If you've got strong teams, they, these children that can't play good hockey fall on the wayside. But if you do it this way, we've got those children. And we always will have those children playing. When the clubs were here, the clubs were had to look after their own field. So everyone played in the one facility once this opened. Um, we, we didn't have, like some centres have uh, grounds all over their town, where Gympie has never done that. We've been one association. But with the way they're running it now, I still think it is for the better to, to grasp these younger children or younger adults that have never played hockey come out and try it and because everyone's here in this one place, they, they stay. Going back when we were building the clubhouse, uh, there was only the bottom part and there's still the bar is underneath the clubhouse and hockey finished at about five o'clock Saturday afternoon and everyone joined in, went in, drank, talked, laughed and if you've seen our facilities, you would have laughed. It was zero. <laughs> But people got together. But as the years gone by, it petered out. You know, that mateship petered out. And that is why I think with the new lot that are running our hockey, have done uh, a good job at bringing it all back together. We had Julie Ashton Lucy, we had Brett Johnston, um, Johnny Daly is another name comes to my mind. But in the older days, we seem to have missed out on a lot of state representative because we were a little country centre. I think having Julie around like, and, and knowing Julie, she has done a lot for hockey in Gympie over the years uh, because of her sportsmanship, her persona, and that is what we need in centres like Gympie. The Gympie Association is one of the smallest associations in the state. We have about 400 players but we're growing. Uh, Gimme's population is about 35 to 40,000, so it's only a small centre, um, but we punch above our weight. And in the last couple of years, we've managed to put um, representative teams on the field in every junior age group. We also have teams now participating in the state open again. We had players representing um, Y Bay in the Super League this year, and we also had teams going away to both the men's and ladies' vets. Uh, championships this year, first time in a long time, and we're having players being successfully um, selected out of those competitions to represent both the state in the veterans and the, and the junior competitions.
Well, the, the way the, the playing structure is at the moment with the association forming the teams, uh, it's a great advantage to the junior players so that they're placed in teams that are supportive of the individual player, but also um, when put together, create a team that's um, comparable with the other teams so we have a nice balanced competition. Um, and the senior teams are formed in a similar way, but perhaps you know, the adults have a little bit more of a say in where they play and who they play with. But um, that's turned out to be beneficial because the competitions in both the senior men and women have been quite competitive in the last couple of years. So developmentally wise, as a player, um, the structure we have is um, probably a lot more beneficial than um, perhaps the old club um, structure. Well, as far as the future of Gympie Hockey goes, I think our facilities are second to none at the moment. We don't want to rest on our laurels. Um, we have plans to upgrade the bottom of the clubhouse and to continue to develop the grass fields to a high um, level um, and perhaps as our numbers grow, a second artificial surface down the track. As far as player numbers go, we want to continue to grow the game in Gympie. We have lots of talented players coming through, um, demonstrated by the players behind me. And we want to, as I said before, keep it a family friendly sport, uh, a sport that families can afford to play, that they can play together, uh, they can play in one place, um, to keep the cost down and make it a relevant um, sporting body for the community so that Gympie people will continue to grow into the future. Over the next few weeks, we'll catch up with more of the associations up the east coast of Queensland.